They say you're never supposed to burn a bridge, but this might be the exception to the rule. MDOT has finally had enough of trucks crashing into a low bridge in Jackson County. And as our Carla Byron tells us, that's not why MDOT is going to replace it. Some of these bigger trucks, they don't, they, don't, they don't pay attention. This was the site on North Mechanic Street in Jackson last month. And this was the site over the weekend. A U-Haul truck was no match for this 10-foot clearance railroad bridge. Turn in, into it and they don't realize it's low or they're going pretty fast and you know they get stuck under it. Dennis Dillon works at a business that's walking distance from the bridge because the crashes happen so often. This was the aftermath and parked in our parking lot. He and his boss created a crash photo wall of shame. Jackson police say this bridge is struck anywhere from three to six times a year. The only th solution I would think of would be raising the bridge. MDOT solution is taking the old bridge out and putting a new five million dollar one in. An engineer says the bridge was built in 1901 and is too old to keep using. It was before cars, really. You know, we got pictures of horse and buggies going underneath this structure. Lippert says the new bridge will be raised another seven inches and will have support beams that will absorb the impact of crashes. So hopefully more trucks roofs can live a long full life. And that was Carla Byron reporting. The 11 foot railroad bridge on Jackson Street a few blocks away will also be replaced and raised to more than 14 feet. The $13 million project is scheduled to start in midsummer of 2020.